this is a very interesting uh, question because in many cases we find that uh, contemporary non-state actors all have a relationship with communities, including uh, ISIS, including uh, Qaeda. We've seen this even new trends in, uh, in, in Syria and Iraq, where they also endorsed a governance uh, role. So they have uh, produced services. They have also uh, Pro, 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 provided livelihood to the local communities. Uh, but and why is this important? Because many would, uh, experts say that if there is a connection, if there is a relationship between a local community and a, uh, a non-state actors, this by default should uh, engage, should uh, Import, uh, impose on us the necessity of engaging this non-state actors into negotiations or into new arrangements. But we need to look more into the, the kind or the, or the type of this relationship between these communities and the non-state actors. Uh, and we will find that it is different in, in how it is, it is shaped. In the case of uh, ideologically driven non-state actors such as uh, AQ uh, and ISIS, we, we would find that this has happened through coercion, either by use of force or by claiming and exercising monopoly over public sphere, over trade, and over all other kind of uh, resources, which impose on the local communities a certain deal. So there will be a kind of rhetoric, a trade-off, a, a bargain between these non-state actors and the local community that in exchange of security, I would provide also food, but I would need new loyalty. So this, this kind of relationship is definitely destructive and it doesn't lead to uh, a, 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 a grass-rooted uh, uh, manifestation of, uh, of the, the community. The other kind is uh, what we witnessed in the opposition areas, for example, in Syria, and also we're witnessing in other parts in Libya uh, and Yemen, is where the non-state actors are the manifestation of uh, the local community uh, needs. They are integrated within the society. They are the sons and the daughters of, uh, of the communities. But even that, we still have to be very careful if you, uh, to, to, to how to deal with it. Uh, because in, in cases, if, if these groups grow too powerful and claim uh, in their terms also a mon monopoly over the local resources, we would, they could very easily uh, transform into clientism and will eventually also uh, um, claim authority without legitimacy or without participation from, uh, from the local community. But again, if we look at the, real, uh, at the, at the ground, so if we, if we uh, start to, 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 uh, to describe how these non-state actors are uh, uh, are uh, interacting with the, the local communities, we see that the local communities are creating their own public institutions, like local councils, uh, they start to deliver services, and so on and so forth. And it's interesting how to, to, to look how these local councils, or local entities are created and established. Are they the result of a democratic vote, or are they a result of consensus? When we, uh, in many cases, we, consensus has been proven to be more stable and has proven also uh, to produce um, a, a very well representative uh, representation sorry, of the different uh, uh, entities within the local community. But at the same time, we look, once this is uh, uh, established, there is another problem that arises, which is accountability and uh, also uh, transparency. So in, in, in many cases, even if the small state actors are very well entrenched in the local community and they are interacting in a very positive way, there is still a need for cooperation on a broader 
spectrum, on a national one. We have to remember that a lot of these non-state actors have emerged and endorsed this role when the state was in crisis, because the state either failed or is failing to deliver certain services and functions, or because of a civil war. So it's a result of a const uh, of con uh, const contestation against the, the state or the regime in, in other cases, in many cases, actually, the regime. Uh, so we have to look on how to induce this dialogue, how to help the state engage this non-state actors, the commune one, the, the, have, you know, the, the, the one that are grassroots uh, uh, organization, into a new order. And this, transform, this demand a transformation from both, a transformation from bottom up for, for the non-state actors to, 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 uh, to acknowledge one again, once again the role of, of, uh, of a central uh, entity, but also a transformation of the state to change its uh, uh, unitarian, unitarian uh, view uh, of, uh, of its role. And um, this could only happen when there is a certain stalemate that, is in, uh, that happens in, in, in the country or in the region in question. And there are uh, a recognition of the necessity of engaging to negotiations and at the end leadership who are ready to take ownership of this process. Thank you, that's it.